We're going to talk a little bit more about brushing your teeth, your kids' teeth, with Nanny Rabina right now. Thanks a lot, Lee. Appreciate it. See, it can be tough, Rabina. Yeah. You know, a lot of them don't like it. Um, you know, part of that is about the toothpaste. My kids call it spicy, uh -huh. so sometimes you have to get the... Uh, <laughs> Too spicy. Yeah, you've got to get the kids' tooth uh, toothpaste. But let's start from when they are babies. There's certain things you want to be doing before they even have teeth to make sure they're, they're going to have a healthy mouth. Certain things you want to be doing, certain things you don't want to be doing yeah. also. And um, one of the big A's is, and I, this was just my research, you know, I have to keep myself up to date. And I called the dentist and I'm speaking to the hygienist. And she's seen an increase in children having to have their first teeth pulled, all of them. All of them. We're talking about really? a child going up to the age of six, seven before they have any teeth. What is causing it? Mm -hmm. Parents putting their babies in mm -hmm. the crib with a bottle of milk. Thank goodness I very, never did that. Very, I did it every night, everyone. See, <laughs> okay? With my very, first child, very I was like, common. go to sleep. I don't yeah. care if the bottle is in your mouth. There but you it's go. terrible for but them. But what is happening is the sugar is actually sticking to the gums, stick to these, but it's causing major tooth decay and mm. all kinds of things going on with the gums. So moms, it has to stop. Yeah. You know, basically what it is is if you're going to put your baby you know the last feed basically you you need to give a little rinse of milk uh, sorry a little, rinse, <laughs> a little rinse of water yeah you need to be washing that milk down so it doesn't stick to the gum so straight after feeding a few sips of water and that's probably gonna help but okay you can also off, start watering down the bottle too yeah right? just to make it so it's not cold turkey exactly and just like just encourage them to have it before they get into the crib mm -hmm. that's all and just have that last bottle few sips of water in the crib you yeah go. we're it's tired also, you know what can be very dangerous also putting your baby in the crib solo to drink it yeah be it's very true. careful it's true it's you a good know point. so anyway they've got these little things out now that you can use this is like first stage teeth this is like baby three months all you need to be doing is either putting a soft cloth over your finger or something like this wiping the gums around you yeah. know something like that so that's what you can do Okay. So you can see there's their little, uh, if you hold that up, there are yep. little bristles on there yeah. and you just rub, you're massaging the gum basically yeah. and that's going to stimulate the growth of their teeth. There which is, you go. It's also a cute little massage in their it's mouth. It's a little like massage that, right? and it's just giving a, you know, just wiping the milk away, etc. Yeah. So they don't get cottage cheese in the mouth later. <laughs> exactly. You don't want that. Okay. Now as they get a little bit older um, and they can actually, um, you know, maybe manipulate the brush themselves, what do we need to be aware of when we're brushing those teeth? Do you know teeth? what? There's a couple of things that you want to be looking at. Um, first of all, the, the toothbrush that they use fits their mouth properly. Yeah. So you don't want to be using a big toothbrush for a very small child. You know, you want to start off with the infant toothbrush. I love this one. Look at this one. Let me show you. I'm going to see if I can get it on. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, that's Look so at that. cool. Okay, so that's a toothbrush that has a timer. So, you know, it goes green for go, amber, getting ready. And they've got to keep brushing until it gets to red, which yeah. is then stop. Like two so minutes. So that makes, yeah, so that's the full two minutes. Wow. This is what you want to start, you know, you want to start introducing said toothpaste fluoride free obviously when they're very young because fluoride can actually upset the stomach mm -hmm. so you want to start you know doing a little research on the toothpaste that you use and make sure that it, it you know that obviously it's organic for the child at that time right. and using the, the right toothbrush and brushing at the same time now a lot of kids will actually fight you on this oh yeah as you know you know and I think some of it is it's just boring you're sitting there and you're doing this you gotta make it fun yeah I used to let Ben the little guy I used to look after he would brush my teeth I'm telling you there are times I'd gag because he'd have his fist in there <laughs> like this but I'd hold it back he'd have a good old brush and then he would actually allow me to brush his that little bit longer oh. and you know what when I showed him sorry moms but yes Nana Rubina has a cavity I actually showed him my my yeah. little gray filling good horrified you should have seen the look on his face <gasps> And I'm like, that's what happens when you don't brush your teeth good. You good know? For you. So you want to be doing all of that. Yeah, yeah, don't make my mistakes, kid. You're gonna no. have a mouth of dentures. Yeah. That'll scare them. That'll scare them. Look at that. <laughs> gonna get a silver tooth. So another thing that I discovered is, you know how like through the generations, your body changes. Like today, a lot of the 16-year-olds, they're like six foot blooming eight. Mm -hmm. We never had that years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very tall. Well, what's happened over generations is the teeth have started getting tighter in the mouth. So there's, the space in between the teeth is tighter than ever okay. with this generation. This is what the hygienist was telling me. So it's time to start flossing. Flossing okay, is flossing. often even yep. more important than the brushing, I hear. Absolutely, so getting your but when you see the that. brush is not getting into those mm -hmm. gaps like it used to. So you really need to start flossing much earlier than perhaps you had actually done in the past, if yeah. you like. And they have these little two, these little pick things here. The, you know, they've got the little handles. You haven't got to get your mouth in with the string. Because yeah. they, they really have created some great fun products from Shop and Drug Mart with... Um, 
for the kids to use. So all of these from shoppers, and you can pick up some great stuff. It and is tough to get them to figure out how to manipulate that string because I know that I started to do that with yourself, the flossing. You, you know. I have to do it myself, and even getting the back teeth with them. Yes, it's a bit of a struggle. It's a bit of a gangy hand thing, isn't yeah. it? You know, so you're going to have to let them have a little practice with themselves. For sure. But you're going to have to do it for them. Yeah. For the longest time, mouthwash. Mouth so there are some great mouthwash. Mm -hmm. I know Listerine does a great mouthwash that actually after the child has rinsed will actually show up all the plaque that's been left on the teeth. Really? So it will actually leave a color so the child can actually go back and actually oh. recolor them. Um, another hard. thing is electric toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. They are the preferred moms. And this is a great one here. And again, stickers. What kid doesn't love stickers? They can decorate it themselves. Right. So you know what? What you want to do when you use an electric toothbrush, because they are the preferred ones, is you do need to supervise your child because if they overbrush with the gums, etc., they can end up breaking some of the uh, skin, the gum tissue down. Mm. So they need supervision when they are actually using an electric toothbrush. Very nice. Okay. So the other thing you can do with uh, brushing the teeth, I find, when, when they really don't want to do it, is you can sing a little song. Oh, yes. We do that with the hand washing. Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, ah, look yes. how clean my two hands ah, are. You see, so no. when, this, when the whole song's done, then we can rinse. See, now, I do want brush, brush, brush away, brush away the tooth decay. Or... <laughs> That's or, got a ring to yeah. it. Yeah. Or you can say whatever they had for breakfast. Say, yeah. brush, brush, brush away, brush away the toast today. Oh, yes. I like it. And you just keep going through it and you yes. keep brushing and you get that food See, out. I want to go brush my teeth now. That yes. was so See. fun. <laughs>